Hello YouTubers, welcome to my channel. If I were to receive this PCB boards a week later, I would have to pay at least 200% more. Is it still possible to afford a small scale a PCB project like this moving on, especially under this crazy political environment? Of course, I don't think we can make boards ourselves, but have you ever thought about maybe assembling the boards yourself to save some money? Believe it or not, it is actually pretty doable, as long as you have the right tools. The tools you will need include a reflow oven if you don't want to hand solder all the components. My reflow oven is converted from a kitchen oven. If you're interested, you can check out my previous videos to learn how to make your own reflow oven. Then, a good pair of tweezers and fresh solder paste. Now let's start. First, we need to apply solder paste onto the pads. Usually, this is done with a piece of stencil for boards with a lot of small components. For this particular design, the components count is low. And as you can see, the components are relatively big. I will just apply the solder paste using the freestyle. You might have noticed already, each PCB has an array of 10 small boards, so I can work on 10 all at once. Definitely more efficient this way. Once a solder paste has been applied, use tweezers to pick and place the components. This step requires a steady hand and a lot of patience. Don't worry if a component is slightly off. The surface tension from the molten solder will magically make it spot on. Once the components are sitting on their pads, it's time to transport the board into the oven. Make sure you move the board slowly and smoothly, not to shake the components off. Then you just leave the job to the oven for the final finish. So I was able to finish three picks within an hour. That was 30 small boards per hour or 2 minutes per board. Not bad at all for a one man assembly line. It took about 3 minutes to rise all the way to about 220 degrees Celsius. After that, I just had to wait until it cooled down. Well, of course, no time was actually wasted because I was already on the next one when the oven was baking the previous board.